Look at us. New PB. And now we get a Lapras, everybody. Oh, it's dragon type in this game. Wait, what? They made it part dragon? It's actually sick. We have what I believe is a double battle against some like admin people or whatever, and a battle against Giovanni. So let me give you a rundown of what I'm thinking the strat will look like. I do not know what they have because this is all uncharted territory. It has just been brought to my attention that that is something that we're gonna have to deal with. We know that we dealt with dark types and then things that could counter things that we brought for the dark types. For Giovanni as well, I mean, Giovanni's known for ground types and obviously his Kangaskhan, which I'm preparing as if he's going to have Kangaskhan again, because I don't understand why they wouldn't give him Mega Kangaskhan for both fights. That's kind of like his signature Pokemon. I think Jolteon's done its job for now, I imagine. So because of Kangaskhan, like I definitely want to bring back Blaziken. Because Giovanni also is known for ground types, I imagine both Gyarados for Levitate and Inteleon are both really good options for the speed there. And then anything that's like meant to counter it, we have Bolton that can just outspeed and hopefully do some major damage. Golurk has really good physical bulk, so I'm gonna assume that it's helpful here. It also covers some typings for us, like other electric types, any normal types, fighting types. It's good for type coverage stuff. And then we of course have Golisopod as the revenge killer. I'm assuming that this is like a decent squad for what we're gonna have to face, but I don't no, <laughs> that's the thing. Like, I'm trying to bring in the best team possible. So whiteout is game reset? Yes, that's why we have the whiteouts on the screen because that's how many runs we've done of this. I'm gonna say Giovanni gonna screw us. I hate this fight because I'm struggling against it. Well, you also have to remember that I am a very skilled gamer band, so. So this squad I feel like is pretty decent, but this does make us really weak to electric types because we'd only have two po Pokemon that can really do anything against those, which is why I was considering training up Lilip really quick because we can do that in just a couple of minutes. And its IVs are good enough to where I wouldn't have to really fix anything just yet. Once we get this Lilip ready to go, I feel like we would have enough. You know what I'm saying? Like enough type coverage at that point to be good to go. Oh wait, we can get Snorlax. I just remembered. Wait, we need to get Snorlax because we get leftovers from Snorlax. Oh my God, I almost forgot about that. Chat, we get to catch one of the two Snorlaxes, by the way, we get to catch one of them. If we're lucky, we'll just get a quick ball catch, easy dub, let's see. Holy shit, the quick ball did it. That was actually crazy. We have Thief here, so we're just gonna Thief the leftovers away from this other Snorlax and then kill it. Bang. Now we have two sets of leftovers. Very nice. Whatever we have to go against, hopefully this lead is good. We have Pokemon that are bulky that can switch into certain attacks depending on what get, gets baited out. If a water attack gets baited out, we can switch into bands to absorb it and get a boost. If a ground move, like if they have something with like a really strong ground move potentially, we can like double swap if we need to. We have muscle band, wide lens, leftovers, leftovers, citrus berry, wise glasses. Okay. Oh, those are mega evolved. Okay. What, that's mega. Okay, that's mega Houndoom. And what's the one on the right? Oh, that's Mawile. So it's a mega Houndoom and mega Mawile. Mawile will have Intimidate. I have no idea what Houndoom's going to have. But Houndoom's always a scary Pokemon. But they're also not crazy fast. We have Pokemon that can outspeed. Oh, don't you think two against one is a little unfair? Oh. <gasps> I get a friend. Sorry, I'm late to the party. Let me give you a hand. Oh, I only get to select three Pokemon though. Wait, can I just have all six of mine? Oh no. Wait, okay, okay. This is not, mmm, mmm. It seems like Blaziken is a no brainer because it can handle both of those mega Pokemon. I don't know what Brendan's gonna have. That's the thing. I don't know. I mean, he's probably gonna have a Sceptile and maybe a Crawdont. Because he had a Corphish and a, and a Trico before. Let me check what he had last time. Last time we fought Brendan, he had a Loudred, Lunatone, Grovile, and Crawdont. So I imagine he's going to have a Sceptile, maybe Crawdont again, maybe like an Exploud. Have Blaziken come back in if necessary, and then hope that Gyarados is the right call here. All right, we're just going to go in here. I, I tried to make these picks based off of what... I hope Brendan has. What does he lead with? Okay, Gothitelle Incineroar. 
That is yucky. That's very masquerade. Okay. Well, intimidate hits both of them. Oh shit! Oh, that's so bad. So everybody just gets intimidated here, but Gothitelle just got a boost to special attack. So now Gothitelle starts this at plus two. Oh, that's so bad. Okay. They might double into Masquerain here. If I send in Gyarados, that makes Gothitelle even stronger. Scald, Sun Spore, Giga Drain, and Bug Buzz. Okay, it's got a decent moveset at least. So I'm guessing it goes for like Bug Buzz here. Flamethrower, Surf, Focus Blast, Hyper Voice. Okay, so it's probably a Hyper Voice spammer. I like that. And then Unburn and double speed if item is lost. And its item is... Oh, so it's Mega Sceptile. Okay. Mega Drain, Dragon Breath, Focus Blast, Hidden Power, Fire. Okay. Bringing a special attacker would have been a really good call here, I think. We need to make sure Gothitelle dies, and I think we do that. We're going to go first. Okay, Incineroar, Fake Out's actually fine here. That gives Masquerade a free turn of not dying. That one-shots, yeah? Okay, not quite. I don't like that. Well, we're dead. Doge Loaf is dead. This could be an opportunity if Masquerade outspeeds and takes out the Gothitelle. This could be an opportunity to get Gyarados in. Oh, that's risky though. That would rely on it actually killing Gothitelle. I have to rely on Masquerade to actually kill it this turn if I go for Dragon Dance. I mean, either way, like I need Masquerade to kill the Gothitelle. Okay, this is this, I think the safer play. Here's what I think I wanna do. I'm gonna go for Protect this turn and let Masquerade do its thing. Cool, okay. Excellent. I want to try to bait out some of the moves so I can get an idea of what I'm actually up against here. Houndoom. Okay, so this thing is going to mega evolve. I'm guessing either like flamethrower or fire blast, dark pulse, maybe nasty plot, and then probably some sort of like coverage move. So maybe like a hidden power ice for ground types or like a hidden power. Can it get ground? I can use high jump kick, but I don't know if we outspeed. We're not that fast. We can we can high jump kick and delete something, but whether or not we actually live is a question there. When alternatively, I could switch in Gyarados, intimidate Incineroar even further. Fuck it. Let's see if we can make it happen. This would be a huge play. If we can get Mega Houndoom off the table, this could be a huge play. If we're lucky, maybe they double up on Masquerade. Okay, good. That's fine. Hold on, hold on, hold. Big. Please kill, please kill, please kill. Ooh, we like that. We love that. Ooh, that's big. Okay, that's a huge kill. Okay, one mega down. This shouldn't really do anything. Age. Well, Age of Slash is slow, right? Isn't that a slow Pokemon? Can't we just Blaze Kick and kill this? Is that gonna be enough? It is slow, but we have Blaze Kick with a 30% boost. Max attack. That has to kill. Right? Is it in defense mode right now? Is that defense mode? I don't know how to tell the difference. I, I've i hardly ever fought this thing. We killed two Pokemon on the right side, which means this is just their last Pokemon. This doesn't mean that it has anything good against us. It just means that this is its last Pokemon. It has a sword out when it's in attack mode. Okay. The problem is if I lose all three of my Pokemon, then we lose the fight, which is why I'm considering protecting again here or going for Intimidate, make the Incineroar even more useless, make the Aegislash worse offensively. But I could protect here because I know we're going to Mega Evolve with this Sceptile and then maybe Sceptile goes Hidden Power Fire. I'll, I'll protect here. I'm really curious what they're actually going to go for because I don't know what this Aegislash can have. I'm very inexperienced with this Pokemon. I don't know what kind of moves they would give it. We'll get a safe protect here. Focus Blast is missed. Okay. The stance changes. Okay, so now it's an offensive form. Shadow Claw, okay. That's actually big. Now let's Blaze Kick, because it's not in defense mode anymore. Well, now it is. Wait, what? How does that work? Oh, it went for King's Shield. What does that do? So I could just go Blaze Kick here on the Aegislash, because it shouldn't be able to use that twice, right? Is this just unlimited protects? This is cringe. I'm protecting. I need to see what happens. What the fuck is happening with this thing? Okay, well, Sceptile is just going to delete the Incineroar, I guess. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I love this. 
but whatever. Oh, it doesn't kill it, I guess. There's still a Mega Mawile that we have to deal with, which is why I don't want to lose Blaziken yet. So I think I'm just going to go Gyarados here, get the double Intimidate. It doesn't seem like they have anything that can really hurt us because they're not using like, I mean, they're just spamming the same moves. So I'm just going to go Gyarados here. We'll get the Intimidate, which makes them even worse. Okay, it goes King's Shield. Okay, that's a little scary because we just lost his best Pokemon. x is kind of big though. So what I can probably do here is we might get a free setup here. Okay. We finish off the Incineroar here. So this should be a free Dragon Dance. What else do you have? Primarina. Okay, I don't love that because I don't have anything that's really good against Primarina. We could try another Dragon Dance. Oh man, Primarina and Sceptile's dead. That's a little scary, actually. I think I have to go for another Dragon Dance and then maybe hope that Exploud can do something huge here. Like, I don't know. Like, we have an attack boost, but we don't... Like, I, we need to get Aegislash off the field. It did just go for King's Shield, so... Fuck off! How does that keep working? How? How? I don't understand. Oh, that's so annoying, dude. How does that keep working? Like, what the fuck is King's Shield? It, during the turn, if King Shield blocks an attack that would make target with the user is lowered, King Shield causes the attack to drop even if the user of King Shield was immune to that attack move. King Shield also triggers a just form change. If the user goes last in the turn, the move will fail. The chance that King Shield will succeed also drops each time the user successfully and consecutively uses Endure. Any protection move that only affects the user. Okay, so how is it getting it two times in a row every time? Whatever, I'm doing it again. I'm just going for it again. I need to get this thing off the fucking field. Okay, 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 okay. Big damage. That's a plus one super effective crunch. Please explode. Please explode. Yes. Okay. Now we can double up at least into them. But oh, this Prima is it's this is really scary. I have nothing against this, dude. I have nothing that can hurt this Primarina. It's just gonna keep spamming Dazzling Gleam. Oh, this is so bad. I mean we just have to go for damage. We just have to go for as much damage as we can. This is stab aqua tail plus one. That's good damage. Maybe Xbox kills. Maybe it kills. Hold on, maybe it kills. Maybe it kills. Okay, that's big. Oh, that's actually really big. I didn't think Aqua Tail was actually going to do that much. That's so big. Okay, now it's just Mega Mawile. We need to get Blaziken in safely. We just go for damage. We just do as much damage as we can here. Crunch is also not very effective there, Fav. Holy shit, that did so much. Wait, holy shit. That was after Intimidate. Oh my god, we did it! Ha ha, shitter! Oh, ha 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 ha, first try! Oh, hell yeah! Oh my god! Dude, we're nuts! Dude, this Gyarados is actually insane. Uh, Gyarados is actually so good. Oh my god, dude. Oh! How did Aqua Tail do so much? How did it do so much to Pre Marina? They did over half! Whoa, they cursed. They said a bad word. They said, damn it, dude. Oh my god, I just get a Trico? Oh, that's kind of cool. Wait, is it like a cracked Trico? Wait, is this thing nuts? I mean, you know serviceable well now we know to not start with trico in these runs <laughs> dude holy shit yes <laughs> oh my god we can mega evolve our blaziken now that's kind of cool mega ring is just before sabrina so you can't use it yet but at least you have the stone good to know okay well now we have to prepare for whatever the fuck giovanni's gonna have i'm assuming kangaskhan is still a part of it which is why we want alec mint there and Tony is back up. I mean, we already saw Garchomp, so it's probably Mega Garchomp, which is super cringe. But we have fast Pokemon that can do quad effective damage to it. Between Ice Fang from Dogeloaf and Ice Beam from Sipple, we should be good there. So maybe it's not Mega Kangaskhan. Maybe it's Mega Garchomp and then it's just normal Kangaskhan. We could see another form of like the Nidos, like Nido King, Nido Queen. Like last time he had like a wonky team. He had like Rotom. He had... Honchcrow. So we still have Honchcrow taken care of with Doge Loaf. We have two water types for this. So like theoretically, we should have ground types. We have three Pokemon that can handle ground types. He's not going to have any legendaries, I would imagine. Like they're not going to give him like Terrakion or something. Maybe like an Excadrill. And if they have something to set up sand, then Sand Rush Excadrill could be a problem. And I'm going to hope that you guys aren't just going to like spoil it. <laughs> but it's got to be Garchomp and Kangaskhan. Like, there's no way it's not Kangaskhan. There has to be. 
has to be Kangaskhan. I'm gonna assume one of the other ones is one of the Nitos. He usually, like, Giovanni's whole thing is like the, the Nito King, Nito Queen line, and Kangaskhan, and then like the ride on. That's like usually his thing in the games. So I'm just gonna try to prepare for something like that. I'm so nervous. <laughs> You remember what we had to go through to clutch the first time against Giovanni? Oh, he only has five Pokemon. Oh. Okay. He leads Hippowdon. Okay, Sandstream is annoying. I mean, Hippowdon's special defense isn't that good, right? One guess right. Bands, didn't you say you've done this fight before? So were you actually guessing or were you spoiling? Because if I see a fucking extra drill, I'm just going to have to ignore everything you say for the rest of your life. <laughs> I'm worried about Snipe Shot not killing this thing. Which maybe I'm stupid for being worried about that, but I don't want to lose Sipple right away here. And I could maybe get in Gyarados and set up. It's just, I don't know, does does Hippowdon get access to Thunderfang? Because that would be the only electric move Hippowdon could have, if possible. I mean, we could hope that Snipeshot maybe lands a crit. Maybe? But I'm, wor I mean, our defense is so low, dude. Whereas Cradilly could switch in and tank the hit and then Giga Drain the health back. But then if it has Ice Fang, that's a problem. Fuck it. Fuck it, just fuck it. Okay, okay. Oh, the crit! Yes! Oh, Sipple, you're so nuts. Oh, you're so nuts. Oh, the crit mattered. Crit mattered. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Great start. Great start. Poltygeist. Oh, why? Ew, why is that? Oh, okay. Um. Okay, so this thing probably has that like weak armor ability that they typically have, where if it gets hit, it raises speed and like lowers defense and all that shit. I know that when we had this earlier, it got access to like Mega Drain. I'm guessing if this is its best option, it's probably Giga Train. It's probably Giga Drain. I don't think one boost for Poltegeist would be enough. So we lower defense, it gets a speed boost that's sharply raising its speed. And then White Herb Rest oh, okay. Yeah, it's a little... I don't love that, but I'm going to send in Doge Loaf and hope that we're still faster. Jeez! And that is why I did not want to U-turn. Um, okay, so now we have to deal with a Poltegeist that's fast as shit. Our Bolton is dead. And... I mean, I think we just have to go Bands here. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is scary. We have Protect here, though. Yeah, it's trying to go for Shadow Ball. That's very concerning. And we don't have a normal type that can switch into this. We probably have to let Bands just take the hit here and go Giga Drain to heal back the health. That's all we really can do. And hope that this doesn't one-shot. But that's... Good lord. Okay, cool. That... Not bad. Our special defense did lower there, but that's honestly fine. That was getting really scary. Okay, Kangaskhan does exist. Let me see what it's going for here. Okay, it is Mega Kangaskhan, which means Garchomp isn't Mega Garchomp. I can probably toxic this thing too, because it only lowered our special defense with Poltegeist. So I bet you I can pull this off. This is going to hurt, but yeah, this is honestly, I don't mind this, because I know we can outspeed this with Blaziken still. So these attack boosts don't really mean too much, as long as it doesn't have a way to boost its speed. Is it just going to spam power-up punch? It looks like it. So this is where it does have two attack boosts. If it's going for power-up punch, we can go into Tony and get a free toxic turn, and then protect and get another free toxic turn. Check this out. Check this out. This is actually sick. This is actually sick. Free turn of toxic. We go protect here. Another free turn of toxic. We go back into Cradilly to tank the crunch. This might kill. Let's see. It doesn't. Oh, well, yes, it does. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That Cradilly did its job. Now it is one shot. All we have to do is swap into Tony here and protect again. And Kangaskhan dies. Beautiful. This is good. We're doing good. Okay, Garchomp comes in. This is the one I was worried about. But we have Ice Punch. So let's just see what happens. What does this do? What is scale shot? I mean, we're tanking the fuck out of it. Holy shit. Wait, and it's defense fell? <laughs> yes! Yes!
Yes! Oh, it has a berry, though. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't think this one shot, but its defense did fall. <laughs> it doesn't even matter! Oh, it doesn't even matter! Oh my god, we're frying! We are frying! Oh my god, dude! All right, bands. Oh, all right. Uh, ba I'm never. I have to ban bands, dude. <laughs> oh, the two Pokemon you happen to mention. Hmm. Maybe watch out for these two Pokemon. <laughs> I see your game. Uh, let's just kill Exadrill. Are you Focus Ash? Yes, you are Focus Ash. Oh, that feels really good. Oh, that feels really good, dude. Whoa! First try, both. End of Silphco boss fights. It's actually cracked. Oh, it's actually cracked. I love that they still have the PC here. <laughs> Good job, Radical Red. We are done with Silphco, boys. What a run this is. What a run. And what's really cool is that now we that we know how to like get money in the game, we can actually semi-replicate this. It's just the encounters that we can't replicate. But some of these Pokemon are like guaranteed. Like, Gyarados, I can always guarantee, because we buy the Magikarp. Holy shit, this guy has some good moves. Drill Run, Bla- Oh my god. Air Slash, Mist- Oh my- Oh my god! This guy has so many good moves! So now, we prepare for Sabrina. I have been told murmurs of needing slow Pokemon, which tells me that I might want to have Trick Room prep because you guys just can't keep your mouths shut about things coming up. So, <laughs> whether or not Trick Room stays set up is kind of a thing here. Like, we don't want just a full team of slow Pokemon. I think Muck is for sure. I think this would be a great Pokemon to bring in. The typing is great. We could fix a couple of these IVs really quick because it does need some serious help. Its IVs are terrible. Um, but the typing is really good. Gets access to stuff like Gunk Shot. Uh, I can teach it Toxic. It has Acid Armor for raising that defense if it needs it. We could get rid of Rock Tomb and get a better move there in that slot. Like, Galissapod, I feel very strongly about. I might have to change up the moves, but in a Trick Room environment with Emergency Exit plus access to, I mean, such a high attack stat, I would just have to change up the moves slightly, but, I mean, could be good. It really just depends. If, if Psychic Terrain is up for this battle, it, that would change things. Because Trick Room, they actually have to set up. Psychic Terrain, they could just have a Pokemon start out with, which is why I'm focusing more on Trick Room nonsense than anything else. Here, while we think of our team, let's do what needs to be done. We need to do the deed, chat. You know the one. We need money. <laughs> I just don't know who all to like actually bring into this gym. But if it's double battle stuff, then like leading Golurk and Gyarados could be kind of cracked. Plus we have Pokemon that can protect. We'll probably have protect on every Pokemon for this. If it's a, truly gonna be a full on like trick room thing, like Umbreon and like Slow King, like these are definitely options I wanna have. These are just the only three like guarantees. And then it's a matter of trying to figure out where our weaknesses are. Bang. And it gets Flash Cannon, baby. We like that. We've got our Hisham and Gudra with a beefer of a special defense stat. Good special attack. I mean, just a very nice stat spread all around. Very likely bringing that into the gym, I would imagine. So with these four, we have four Pokemon, all very slow, but very tanky with relatively good offensive stats. If Psychic Terrain goes out, Galissapod could be an insane clutch Pokemon to have. Umbreon, I think, is a pretty decent option here. It has access to Sucker Punch. We could even just give it a different move like Dark Pulse if we wanted to. We could give it a really toxic move set of like... Moonlight, Protect, Toxic, and just any dark move, really. My only concern is that, like, I don't know. Trying to play around Trick Room and not knowing what Pokemon they're actually using for Trick Room is an interesting, like, predicament to be in. But we've already clutched up in two very big fights today. So this could be the third huge clutch. I prefer fighting in the doubles style. Are you ready? I'm glad they at least give me this. I'm ready, Sabrina. As ready as I'll ever be. Oh my god. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done this. Uh, I shouldn't have done this. Oh, this is a bad idea. Okay. Oh, they're both shiny. Wow. Fancy. So Intimidate doesn't really do anything here for us. I'm assuming Psychic Terrain. There's a Psychic Surge. Special Defense rises. Okay. 
So, so here's what I think is gonna happen. I think Hatterene is gonna go with um, Follow Me and Indeedy is gonna get like a guaranteed trick room set up. I think that's what happens here, which would be really cringe. And there's not really any way I can stop that from happening. We could double up, I mean, and just go for full on offense, go for the damage on Hatterene. Cause it rose its special defense, but not its physical. So we could maybe just get a free kill on Hatterene. Oh, I don't know. And because then we risk Hatterene just shitting on us with a fairy move. I feel like that's the safest play. We're just gonna double in and see what happens. It didn't go for Folly Me, which is a little concerning. That was a huge crit. It didn't go Trick Room. Interesting. Do we just kill here? Okay, wait a minute. So they didn't get Trick Room set up. What comes out next? Crawdont? I was not expecting a Crawdont in this gym. We have answers for Crawdont, but that's just so strange. Like, why would you set up Crawdont here? I'm wondering if I should maybe kill Ndidi here? Because it went for Hyper Voice and that did hit pretty hard. Like, we could double protect and scout. The problem is if we double protect and Crawdont has Swords Dance, we'd give it a free turn of Swords Dance. So we need to consider our options here. If it goes for a water move, bands would absorb that and get a boost. Maybe that would be a good play. Maybe swapping in bands here. I just don't know what this craw- Like, why do you have a crawdon? Why do you have that? I don't think crawdon would have- Well, it could have knockoff. It could just be going for knockoff strats, which would be really annoying. Yeah, but it's a psychic gym, Fab. That's why I'm confused. Like, why is crawdon here? This is a big turn. This is, this is just a very big turn and I'm stressing about it. I'm going to protect with Umbreon in case it has something like Brick Break and Gyarados. I'm gonna see if I can't just kill Ndidi here because I'm just, I don't know what's gonna happen here. And a free kill is a free kill. I don't know if this one shots, but. Oh my God, that's two crits from Katara. That's two crits in two turns. Katara's insane. Okay, it did go knockoff. That is what I was imagining what happened. So if that's what it's going for, I think Band is probably the safe bet here. So I don't know what's coming in. Gardevoir, okay. That is interesting. Right, it probably does go Mega Gardevoir here, which means it's probably just gonna go Dazzling Gleam. This is weird. This is a weird turn. I don't like this turn. This is very weird. I don't know what this Gardevoir has. If it goes Dazzling Gleam, I mean, Grimace could swap into that. But it could also maybe, maybe this is the other Trick Room setter. Oh, I don't know. 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 This is weird. This is just a weird turn. We need to get this Crawdon off the field, though. I think we swap in Gudra here for Umbreon. And then I think we risk Lilip trying to kill... Well, what if Crawdon is Focus Sashed? This Crawdon might have been set up to be a sweeper with Trick Room. So if this is Focus Sash Crawdon... Oh, that'd be really annoying. Okay, here's the play. We swap in Gudra here, and we just protect with bands. Okay, so it's a Mega Gardevoir. So no Mega Alakazam, it's a Mega Gardevoir. What happens here? Goes for Shadow Ball and Knock Off. Okay, so they tried to double into bands. Gudra could now pretty safely Flash Cannon Gardevoir. Is that really what it tried to do? It tried to Shadow Ball bands? Why? I mean, if that's what it's trying to do, let me get a free flash cannon here on Gardevoir and then just sub back into Hannah Banana. So I can just heal with Moonlight after that. Like if that's what they're trying to do. Okay, it went Hyper Voice this time. Unfortunate. This should hurt though. Okay, that's pretty good damage. Knockoff comes in, hits like a fucking truck. Oh my God, okay. That is scary. Can this psychic terrain go away, please? If I send in Tony and Grimace, I might be able to finish off the Gardevoir by protecting with Tony, because they might double into Tony. This Crawdon is just so annoying, dude. We're gonna poison jab and we're gonna protect. <sighs> okay, went Hyper Voice. Oh my God, of course it's a crit, man. Of course it's a crit. Why wouldn't it be a crit, honestly? Why not? Okay, we kill the Gardevoir. That crit might fuck us really hard here. 
Okay, that's a big, big protect. Why do you have an Ursa Luna? What? What kind of psychic gym is this? This is bullshit. What is this? This is actual bullshit. What the fuck is this, man? Okay, we're gonna protect here with Grimace. And fucking Earthquake with Tony. And just send it. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. This isn't gonna kill Crawdaunt. And then Tony's probably dead here. I mean, he was a crit, but yeah. This probably kills. Yeah. All right, well. Time to, oh my God, it's flame orb or so, This is so stupid, dude. This is so dumb. What a stupid fucking gym. It's not even a psychic gym. Oh, whatever. Um, oh, I have no way to kill this Ursaluna. But this Ursaluna is probably just gonna go earthquake and kill my fucking Grimace. Yeah, there it is, GG. Oh man. What a stupid gym. If this thing has Ice Beam, it's GG. There's no way we're gonna live. It's probably Eviolite Porygon 2. Wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. What does Ursaluna use here? High horsepower? Hold on. Okay, we're just dead, Never mind. <laughs> uh, well, actually, hold on. Okay, hold on. If we protect... Do we heal enough here is the question. Does Ice Beam kill us? Either way, well, I mean, this is our only play. Because double protect is way too risky here. We would just guarantee a loss if it misses. Man. So close. This gym is bullshit. The fact that this gym has multiple Pokemon that are not even psychic types is stupid. Every other gym, every Pokemon was at least partially that type. Like this is the first time I'm legitimately mad at the people that put this ROM together. This is a stupid gym. If this is how every gym is gonna be, like fuck strategy. Like what am I supposed to do at that point? I'm preparing for a trick room psychic gym and I'm going against, against Ursa Luna and Crawdont. Ridiculous, actually ridiculous. Like, let me guess, they have psychic moves. Let me guess, Ursa Luna has a psychic move. And that's how they justify it. Yeah, so how is this Pokemon justified? How is this a justified Pokemon for this gym? Zero psychic moves. It is not psychic type. It's an anti-ghost Pokemon. It, 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 that doesn't matter. If you're gonna have a gym that just has Pokemon that are anti-whatever, Instead of giving them Pokemon that are of that type like you've done with every single gym up to this point. Every gym up to this point was centered around having Pokemon that can counter all of the other types that they're weak to. That are still that type of the gym. This is the first one that said, ah, fuck it, give them Ursaluna and Crawdont. Unreal. It's so stupid. I hate that I just lost the run that way. Because if this is how big battles are going to be where they just say fuck it to the types and throw whatever they want in there. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. The next gym is worse, great. Can't wait. Can't wait to have to predict, I have to play for everything. I now have to, I have to plan blindly for every type possible now. What a cool game. What a great game. I was having, I was, man, I was having a great time with this game until this happened. Now it feels like it's gonna be impossible for me to beat a gym leader without wiping because I'll have no idea what to prepare for. The next time we get to Sabrina, I mean, now I know. I mean, I can just get rid of all the Trick Room. I can just kill the Hatterene first turn and then there's no Trick Room. Like if I knew it was gonna be that easy to not let Trick Room happen, I really thought when I saw that lead with Ndidi and Hatterene, I'm like, this is the most obvious thing of all time. One Pokemon uses Follow Me, the other one uses Trick Room. I thought that was it. the most obvious play of all time and that's not what happened. This gym is actually so fucking free with knowledge of what I'm actually up against. But like, chat, look at this, dude. Like, look at this. This is so fucking free. It's unreal. There is no counter here at the beginning for anything fast. Hatterene's slowest Pokemon on Earth. We one-shot this with literally... We... Oh my god. 
It was a good run that ended in a very unfortunate way. As as frustrated as I am, this is this was a very helpful run with some big moments, some huge clutches. I mean, you got to I got I need to remember as well. Two major fights today that we clutched first try going in basically blind. So now with info, those fights should be free.